Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to find the measure of angle x, y, z to the nearest degree. And so we actually learn in fourth grade how to measure angles. And we use a tool called a protractor. And it actually kind of looks like this. And so when we're looking at angle measure x, y, z, how we actually put these in order is we always start with our first letter, so X, so we're going to start here, and whatever's in the middle, when we list three letters together, this middle letter is actually your vertex. So X, Y, Z, so start at X, go to Y, go to Z, which means this is your vertex, and we are measuring this angle right here. And so we're looking at this angle right here because it's angle with the Y in there, and we need to measure it on this protractor. You see, it's almost 90. So when we talk about a right angle, like a 90 degree square corner, that's what we're talking about is we're talking about something that would like start at zero and go up to 90. And this is almost 90, but you notice it's just a little bit inside that 90. And so what we need to look at is how do we use this protractor? Well, you notice this protractor can work either way because it's kind of confusing. Take a look at Z. We need to start at Z, even though our angle is X, Y, Z. We're going to start at the Z when we're looking at the measurement here, simply because it is on this bottom line. It's on this zero line, but it's also, it looks to be on the 180 line. And that's where it gets a little bit confusing. And that's simply because it depends on which way the angle is opening. So since our angle is opening to the right, we are actually going to use this inner line right here because the inner line has the zero. If it were opening to the left, we would actually use this outer line because that outer line has the zero. So we always start at zero and we kind of move this way. And we're going to move this way. So if we take a look, we can actually skip count. We've got zero because we start at zero. Skip count 10. So that'd be a, right here would be a 10 degree angle. So it's very tiny, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, almost 90. Now we've got 80. If we really wanted to, we could just take a look at our little hash marks. We've got 81, 82, 83, 84, this 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. But most of you can figure out, since we're counting from zero up, it's almost 90 which means it's going to be a little bit less than 90, which means we're looking at this D, this 89. So let's take a look at what the other ones would be if we wanted to figure those out. So 91 would work if we started from the left. If we wanted this one to be at 91, though, starting at this angle, we'd have to go a little bit past that 90, and it would have to kind of look like that right there. So that's what that 91 would be. Now 109... If we're starting at the zero, 109 would be way over here. So this is what this is what a 109 degree angle would look like. And they just put that in there because it's kind of near the 100, and it looks like it's right before that 10, so maybe we got confused and we put kind of a 9 there. Now, here's the interesting thing about A. A is a 180 degree angle. 180 degree angle looks exactly like this. It is a flat angle. So if you were to start at zero and go all the way to, look at that inner line, your 180 is all the way over here. It would look exactly like this. It would be basically a flat line with a dot in between. So that is a 180 degree angle. And that is not anything that we're looking for, but there, I see why they put it as an incorrect answer, simply because 180 is on that line right there, on that Z line, and if we're confused, we think that might be it, but our answer is D.